Good morning, welcome to a morning review on Wednesday the 18th of November. This is Kim Watson speaking for Easy Trader. So looking at the Euro dollar first, and the Euro has seen yet another down day yesterday, making some new near term lows. We have this sort of region below, which is a, a, an area of demand previously. There's a chance it could come back into these either previous lows or, or nearby lows. This region, uh, it may just, as I say, provide a bit of support, particularly if we run down towards this S2 area on the monthly. So it may be a bit of support coming through from that. But uh, I've just sort of marked it in, and it is quite a range. It's from a low to low to lows. So um, anywhere in between the area, we've also got key round numbers of uh, 105000 uh, and 106 just above it. Um, so we've got two key numbers within that range uh, to watch out for. Okay, um, at the moment though, four hourly, we're having a little bounce here on the four hourlies. Bring it to the hourly, you see what's going on. We've got the daily pivot just above us. Now that's close on being uh, uh, hit. It's not too far from it now. There is resistance with that daily pivot and it may just, um, if it does get hit, it may just see us... Uh, hit that resistance and work our way down towards the uh, daily R1. Now I would be tempted in terms of taking a position on the break if that's a low side there's not enough meat on it for me to take the daily pivot but a break of the lows here would see me looking for yesterday's lows of course and this the break of the Asian session lows but more importantly uh, looking for that S1 area for the continuation of this move. Any larger movement that we see here may may break up through the 34 and retest that 50 MA again and maybe just overlap into the R1. But for me, the downside is uh, is safer with the probability. Okay, looking at the pound. And bigger pitch first. And choppy old uh, day uh, yesterday in real terms. We put the spinning top in in the middle here. Um, it's, as you see from the four alleys, very choppy and it's continuing in that way, making it more difficult to really read. One thing we have seen in the shorter term here, and uh, is this sort of uh, lower high, uh, confirmed with the, with the lower low, and then yet another low and another lower high. So we've got this little pattern of uh, weakness in what is predominantly chop. So to me, it makes it very difficult to uh, pick the direction in terms of what's going on here. I need to, if I'm looking at direction, I need to really look at the sort of dailies and okay, we could suggest that we're in this sort of ball flag. So there may be a, a hint of bias to the upside. It's a long, long old road up towards the R1. Uh, my preference really is, is, is to the downside here. Difficult to draw trend lines on here at the moment, but it's sits somewhere like this, but this is a live candle I'm putting on at the moment. So it's, uh, yeah, as I say, it, it's it's a choppy old market and it really depends if it can break out of this. Preference probably to stick with the Euro if it's cleaner. Dolly yen. Yeah, again, it's marginally cleaner than what we're seeing elsewhere. It's had two, uh, this bullish engulfing and a solid uh, follow on day. Just run now into the monthly R2s. Now, often we find these as uh, they can become quite uh, restrictive, and we're seeing it happening at the moment. It's not managed to close above that R2 yet at all, even on the four alleys. You can see the number of hits there, so there's obviously um, a, a supply at that area. But uh, the more it hits it, the more chance it may push on. Short term, we sort of pull back away from it again. There's, there's, there's the monthly R2 above us. Uh, maybe a break would give us a, a, yet another opportunity right up there. We have got the R1 if we do break through, so uh, the daily R1 to break through to. On the downside, a uh, break of this 50 MA, which was sort of air kissed uh, in the previous four hours. Well, yeah, we've already hit the S1. It's uh, not looking quite so pretty for me, but. Uh, could come down some more but with the with the strong trend the only way i'll be looking at this would be to uh, buy on the break aussie dollar 
the Aussie dollar. Again, it's starting to get quite choppy in the four alleys, and you see that it's uh, again spinning top uh, on the on the dailies candle. Uh, it's looking overall very odd in terms of pattern. And really, when you're looking through here, there is a trend line across the top of this bar here. It's it's not the clearest of, at all for, for to read at the moment. We have got these sort of uh, lower highs, lower um, lower low sort of situation here, and the S1 below us, which ties up quite nicely with yesterday's lows. So really, the simplest way. Uh, probability may be for continuation to the downside. Finally, the Canadian dollar had been sort of marching on quite a way yesterday again. It sort of put a, another indecision candle. So we've seen this across numerous pairs yesterday. Um, these uh, spinning tops here it really is near the top, and it's. Uh, Lacking in clarity, sorry, let's just run back on that. Yeah, it's uh, lacking in clarity. But what I've done, done here, I mean, if you can see the amount of chop yesterday, any sort of um, sell off that now may bring us just down to that S1 area. Preference really with the bigger trend of what is going on is to the upside. So I'll just be patient and wait for the break of that upper trend line uh, to be looking for trades up towards the R1 and maybe if it pushes up on a strongish day towards the R1 MIDI, uh, R2 MIDI, maybe even the R2 itself, but uh, really um, looking, prefer my preference is to go with these trends where we've got them, uh, and uh, they're, 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 they're sitting clearer on the Euro, um, uh, well, and Canadian dollar really, sorry, Euro, uh, Yen, Canadian dollar. So they're the ones I'll probably be watching much more this morning. Okay, that's it for me. Um, hope you have a great day. I'll be back later. Bye for now.